All of our Honkai Star Rail accounts have looked like this at one point. I have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nada. And that's because we risked it all on the character we wanted super badly, and we either lost our 50 50 or we actually got that character. This includes me as well, as you can see my account currently. And it's all because of you, Hanabi Sparkle. You're a stellar jade thief. You took literally everything I had just to pull you. So, to help during these harsh times, I'm going to be showing you the best ways to farm stellar jades on Honkai Star Rail. So, for the first and best way to farm stellar jades on Honkai Star Rail, you want to go to Herta's simulated universe. Herta, who is a part of the genius society created the simulated universe which you unlock at the beginning of the game and within the simulated universe you could actually farm a whole bunch of stellar jays due to discoveries within the simulation this includes when you discover new curios new blessings and new occurrences within the simulated universe and you want to be doing her to simulated universe at least once a week because there's point rewards that reset bi-weekly which also means those stellar jays that you can get bi-weekly reset as well so you can get more rewards next week now if you've been under a rock just like me you wouldn't know about this new game mode that hurt the simulated universe provides when i first started doing golden gears i got a crazy amount of stellar jades and a lot of players will avoid this simulated universe but i don't know what it is about me i just love running the hillity and seeing all my characters hit some big numbers that i would never hit normally especially when i could beat young ching up in world eight for the free now coming up on number two we have the forgotten hall now for me personally i struggle real bad with the forgotten hall so i only could do so much but even just that little push of stellar jades will help you to gain more so that we can get more pulls later on for those limited banner characters now to be real with you the forgotten hall is the quickest way to farm stellar jades but it's also the hardest way to farm stellar jades you are going to need eight built characters to survive the monstrosity within the forgotten hall and sometimes having only eight characters is not even enough because this is a turn-based strategy game and for me personally i have kafka black swan ron may and Lynx, and this is a dot comp setup and i'm still getting my butt kicked and if you're in a similar boat just like me where you can only clear so much of the forgotten hall at your current power level then do not worry because the memory of chaos portion of the forgotten hall resets i think after a month if i'm not mistaken next up we got pure fiction which is unlocked more later on into the game pure fiction has to be by far one of my favorite game modes within honkai star rail and just like the forgotten hall you do need a set of eight built characters in order to participate well within the pure fiction now me personally i just unlocked pure fiction not too long ago so as far as the event timer goes i I'm not too sure however i do know that this event timer does reset so if there's something in pure fiction like a certain stage that you can't complete do not fear because this timer resets as well so we can get more stellar jades later on also in my opinion one of the fastest ways to farm stellar jades but also one of the hardest and the reason why i like pure fiction so much is because i like putting different team competitions together and putting my characters up to a challenge of an endless swarm of enemies another cool thing that you could do within pure fiction is you could form different team comps together and actually test them out to see which ones you like and you could use them for your main story or within other contents of the game next up we have embers exchange over time during your walkthrough of honkai star rail you will farm this materials called embers every month within the shop of honkai star rail you will be able to buy five gold star rail passes and five standard star rail passes but mikey i thought this was a stellar jades guide okay 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 yes i know this is a stellar jades guide but this one counts the whole purpose of saving up stellar jades is so that way you can get more pulls towards your standard and limited banners now this next one is kind of optional i wouldn't really technically recommend it but this one's completely up to you you could also use starlight to get more gold star rail passes but however there is a real bad drawback on this now the reason why i personally wouldn't recommend this is because you can use the starlight for characters light cones from the standard banner which means those characters light cones are 100 percent guarantee well the star rail passes won't 100 percent guarantee that five star that you're looking for but you you guys aren't like me some of you guys may actually be favored by the gotcha gods and if that's the case to each their own next up at the vendors or you may call them the world shops there's actually various rewards with stellar jades included that each world within honkai star rail has its own world currency and with this world currency you could actually get a various amount of good items that you can use for later such as materials for level up xp even stuff to upgrade relics for specific characters materials to upgrade your light cones and also recipes to give yourself 
both attack and defensive buffs for those fights that you're having trouble with. The world shop is also the place where you find idol launch to upgrade your trailblazer. I am not even gonna lie to you guys, in my first playthrough of Honkai Star Rail, I really thought that the world currency was very scarce just like other materials within the game. So when it came to the world shops, I just skipped over them and waited till later in the game, which is now when I'm recording this video, to actually do the vendors. And I honestly gained so much materials and stellar jades for more of those gold star rail passes. And I remember when my friend was watching me play and he noticed that I haven't done any of the vendors and he was like, dude, not everything in the game is scarce, man. You gotta relax, bro. All right, so this next one might be a little obvious to you guys, but just do your side missions, your companion missions, and your trailblaze missions. Like if it really comes down to it and you really want that character on the limited banner, you will do everything you can to get that character. So you just gotta put in the time. And sometimes that mission may not actually provide a stellar J reward. And that's because you have to do that mission in order to get another mission that provides the stellar J reward. Next up, we have testing out the characters for trials. Every single new patch or update, you get new characters on the limited banner. Now, Honkai Star Wars allows you to test these characters out within the trial feature. And within that feature, after you complete the trial, you actually get a total of 40 stellar jades. And as a bonus, you also get other rank up materials and you get knowledge about the character to see if they fit into your team composition. Also, a good thing to know is that during your Honkai Star Rail playthrough, you will unlock various achievements. So essentially, the more you play Honkai Star Rail, the more likely you are to get an achievement. Or you can just come to this page and try to complete achievements if you are an achievement hunter. Or if you're one of those hardcore gamers that's 100% completionist, but that ain't me for sure because that's a lot of work. Next up, make sure you explore everywhere and interact with everything. There are various chests and golden trotters scattered around the entire map that will give you stellar jades over time. So if you're just starting out, it might be wise to just go interact with everything. Next up, we got events. Events are a huge thing in Honkai Star Rail and I would suggest never missing them. I would say that every major patch or update, they add a various amount of events that will help you gain stellar jades. And this is really good for the free to play players as well. Which also leads me to another tip. You might want to get through the main story as fast as possible or you'll end up like me where I'm missing events because I have not completed the full story yet. Some of these events are also time-based as well. So I would recommend getting through them as quickly as possible because they will reset later on in a future patch or update, which really sucks for me sometimes because I'd be missing a lot of these events and I really genuinely do want to be playing them. But sometimes I get so busy and I just, I just miss them and it really sucks. And I would also like to mention that doing your trailblaze missions and your side missions are very important because it will unlock these permanent events that you won't unlock until you complete these missions. So do not be like your boy Mikey and miss out on these events because you are trying to complete certain things that really don't matter until after you're in end game, which I'm not quite sure if it's actually called end game. That's just the terminology I wanted to use because to my knowledge, you actually gain more stuff as you progress throughout the story. However, with Honkai Star Rail not being anywhere close to the end of the game, there's a lot more stuff to come, which means there's going to be a lot more future events for even more stellar jades. So make sure you're getting them done. Next up, this really caters to the free to play audience. So I suggest really doing this if you're really struggling on stellar jades. This is the daily check-in. If you don't know what the daily check-in is, then I got good news for you because you get extra rewards for starting this for the first time. The daily check-in is basically on Hoyo Lab where you check in daily so that way you get various rewards such as character level up XP, light cone level up XP, and also buffs for in-game battles when you're having a hard time defeating that enemy. And do not worry, I promise you this is safe. Your accounts are safe. Some people are a little skeptical of this, but this is literally by Hoyo Lab, so you're fine. No hackers out to steal your husband owes and wife who's I promise. From time to time, especially on major patches such as Honkai Star Rail 2.0, you will be given the gift of Odyssey. So depending on when you're seeing this video, you might have the gift of Odyssey available to you. And yes, I know this is a video about gaining more stellar jades, but this is what you spend them on. So make sure you do your daily check-ins and get the gift of Odyssey. It's quite frankly 10 gold Star Rail passes, so just do it. And whether you're a returning player or a brand new player, in the new Pentacone version 2.0, update of Honkai Star Rail, there are 10 free gold Star Rail passes waiting for you. And last but not least, we got redemption codes. From time to time, Mihoyo will release redemption codes that will give you free stellar jades and different various rewards. If you're having trouble finding these redemption codes, a good place to find them is Honkai Star Rail's main Twitter. Or you can join my Discord community in the link in the bio and I'm always constantly updating you guys on any redemption codes that I find personally. And sometimes other cool players will go ahead and send those redemption codes within my Discord and it helps out as well. And I know you guys can see those redemption codes 
codes very clearly or I didn't list off all of them. So I'm just going to leave every single code that I know as of March 10th of 2024 in the bio down below. And maybe one or two redemption codes weren't working for me, but for the most part, most of these codes should be working. And once you redeem all those codes, make sure you check your mail so that we could claim your rewards. I really hope that this guide helps you recover all those stellar G's that you guys have lost to the gotcha gods. Or if you're a brand new player, I hope that this guide really helps you guys out in learning how to farm for stellar jades. And if there's anything that I miss, please comment down below because you could help another player out. And if you're new, my name is WTF Mikey and make sure you subscribe so you can find your way back to the channel. Peace!